So, I have 5.5 kilograms of corn grits of very good quality. To have an aromatic and tasty whiskey, I took half a kilo of my rolled oats, I fried them a little bit in a dry frying pan. They have an awesome aroma, sunflower seeds and nuts. And also, I have seven heads of sweet and very delicious young corn. To make our corn whiskey absolutely delicious, I took eats called Red Star Eats. This is an American eats which are mainly used to prepare whiskey of grain distillates in the USA. This delicious braga, which I will apply on the device Alcofan standard, I already boiled corn, now you need to separate the grains and pass through a meat grinder to crush as much as possible. This boiled corn should give us exactly the sweetness corn flavor. For example, we have sweet corn jar from the shop and this is exactly what I want to achieve, this beautiful and delicious flavor. So, we have a young minced corn. Next, I count a hydra model, I mean how much we need to add for 1 kg of raw water. Here I have 5.5 kg of finely ground corn grits, plus half kg rolled oats flakes and 1 kg of young corn in porridge. In total 7 kg. I add about 3.5 liters of water per 1 kg of feedstock. In the end it will turn out, roughly speaking, 24 liters of water. So, the water is already warm. I heading up and let it boil. The water is already boiled and first I throw the flakes into the boiling water. Young corn. Then I turn off the electric stove and pour corn grits, but to mix well we need electric mixer. Gradually fill and I mix. As you understand, we do it by steaming, then we close and wrap it tightly with a blanket to keep the temperature and swell. After an hour and a half, we will add our first enzyme. An hour and a half passed. Porridge steamed well. Now we need to add enzyme to this thick mass. The first enzyme is of course alpha amylase, we need to add 330 mg per kilogram of starch of this ingredient. The work temperature is 1095, but friends, I say next, he really can work with no problems with 70-80 degrees Celsius. We wait about 2-3 minutes and then the mixer will solve everything. The enzyme A mixed well, the word become liquid, then we add the enzyme G, there is glucoamylase. But for this we need temperature about 62-65 degrees Celsius. For this we need to cool with a chiller or leave them outside. The wort was cooled to 65 degrees Celsius. Stir constantly to cool down to the required temperature. So 
We will wait. The world has cooled down to 65 degrees and I always stir it, it with a mixer to speed up the process. Then we add the enzyme G per kilogram of starch. We add 700 grams of glucoamylase. We close and put under the blanket. I leave them for 1-2 hours and sometimes I will stir the wort. The porridge is sacrificed, almost cold and ready. The sweetness is so high. So, we add yeast, 5 grams for 10 liters of Braga. Here I have 25 liters of Braga and also I have 12 and half grams of yeast with warm water and a little bit mash. Then we pour to the stock pot and leave them rest about 15-20 minutes. An hour later I will mix and let him brew without trap plumbing. So we will see. Braga for the most delicious corn moonshine brew 6 days and one more week she stayed outside and got a lighter color. I didn't have time to distill, after all who has a boiler or a steam generator, you distill and I gonna do to the old way, with cool lander and gauze. I will separate from growths so as not to burn. The process is started, as usual I will select dry cereals, rolly speaking, before water appears. After the steel corn fermentation, I got a little more than 6 liters of aromatic alcohol. The ABV alcohol is 30. But to get a more aromatic distillate, I will add some elements to spend grand distillation. The first element is draft of corn, specifically leftover of corn moonshine after the still. In my case, is 2 liters. This trick what I made is from room cooking. There is also added draft in second distill. In second element, instead wadding of regular Pechenkov wire nozzle of stainless steel, I put in the glass cylinder wire nozzle of copper of both sides. I think copper should also contribute to aromatic distillate. The third element in spent grain distillation, what I gonna use, is not the shell and tube deflagmator, but the counterflow deflagmator. Exist some opinions about the counterflow deflagmator that he is not so strong, but he doesn't leave so much the flavor of distillate. I will mount the device and pour the draft and then we will start the distillation. The device Alcofan standard start the automatic process. Only the deflagmator is on and he will work about 15-20 minutes. The device worked 20 minutes and now I will regulate the deflagmator. Just twist a little bit and untwist the refrigerator. Looking at the thermometer, the main the thermometer rises and also control the drip sampling and need drip exactly drop by drop, slowly to can make the maximum selection of the main fraction. The selection is regulated How you can see, I have almost 150 milliliters. Now I regulate the deflagmator and let's start the selection. So, the regulation. 
Now we twist the deflagmator and untwist the refrigerator. I'm looking at the stream and measure how much percent of alcohol I can get. The main in the selection we need the temperature to be stable. Regulating the water supply, I also regulate the heading of the tile. This is what we gonna drink later. Now I go change the dishes and measure the percent of alcohol. Distillate temperature is 22.6 Celsius degrees. How can we see? The hydrometer show us almost 95 ABV alcohol. So, the device of Alcofen standard, we have a glass cylinder wire nozzle of copper, regular Pechenkov wire nozzle of stainless steel and counterflow deflagmator give us almost 95 ABV alcohol. Grain distillate that will be stored in on wood chips or in a barrel will have very strong flavor and I will try to get a fractional distillation. Brew it in wood chips or in a barrel, some part of this liquid I will pull to taste in pure form. In the end I got 1.6 liters and 93%. Very interesting flavor, so lightness, caramelly fruity aroma. The part there is in the refrigerator will go for a tasting in pure form and this part I will reduce to 60-65 ABV alcohol and send to the wood chips. But it will be in another video about homemade wood chips and link it will be later. Friends, the tasting of the most delicious corn distillate begins, which I made. This distillate is perfect for bourbon. Why? Because the distillate was made into two types of wood chips, which I made preliminary say that is very, very delicious. So, the distillate was made on device Alcofan Standard. Diluted to 42% of alcohol. He was rest in the decanter about two weeks. I let him acquire good taste to take the best of drink. Now I gonna taste him. The aroma. As I said before, when I distillate, he has a nice an interesting aroma, some pear apple, like a duchesse, but not too strong, because the distillate was still 93 ABV alcohol, but he still retained such a characteristic taste, grain taste with some fruits. Yes, soft and enveloping slightly sweetness and of course we have grain fruit taste i don't know why but i feel taste of pear actually we have a corn distillate but i feel some pear in the end maybe from rye i think pear have properties give some density to drink and he remember me a perfume with some strawberry taste Mmm, so nice. I took a pear for a snack. Overall, I recommend this exclusive recipe for preparing a drink in pure form. Also, for wood chips or store in the barrel. If you store in the barrel, then you will get an awesome, wonderful and delicious aromatic bourbon. The most important thing is wait for the young corn. I will say next. I work a long time with the shell and tube deflagmator. I know how he works and am I used to regulating it, but the counter flow deflagmator give simplicity in management. If I use the shell and tube deflagmator, then I will get about 94 and a half ABV alcohol, but the counter flow deflagmator gives me 93 and a half. 
and a bit more simple to manage, it's much easier to work with. As for grains, I think this deflagmator is the most appropriate and for fruits as well. It doesn't take away the taste of the drink so much, doesn't take the most part of aroma, neither does it make the drink too strong and actually gives the full flavor. Friends, put your likes, they make me happy and warms me. Subscribe the channel. I wish you good corn distillates and see you in the next time.